Welcome back to another video. So I'm um, doing a little update at nighttime. You know, I just got off work a couple of hours ago. Let me turn my alert off. Just sharing my. I'm gonna have to get the moving too because I'm gonna have to start moving because these mosquitoes they finna start tearing me up, and I want I need to start wearing some long sleeve when I come out. <clears throat> Let me see. So this is my broccoli. Doing pretty good. It look like four leaf clovers. I got some of my bell pepper right there. Got uh, all my peppers right there. I think this is right. I think this right here is lettuce. I can't remember, but I think it's lettuce. I hope it's on um, some romaine. Some romaine lettuce. Um, but we're gonna see. What my uh, I need to use my light. Let's see. So as y'all see, y'all see how fast this tree growing. Now if you look at my previous video, it was not this high. This thing growing while I'm at work. Soon, some um, caterpillars gonna start eating it up. I sprayed it with some neem oil, but I don't know how how much that helps. As y'all can see, your plants gonna always be attacked because other, um, you know, walks of life have to eat as well. I don't see nothing growing there yet. But I got some old broccoli. And that's why I planted that um pear tree. I mean pear um pear seed. And um oh oh yeah, that's what I might do. This weekend I think I'm gonna do it because I you know tied up with work. I think I'm gonna um probably clean out this because it's probably ants still in here if i if i probably disturb it you'll probably see a bunch of ants in here so what i think i'm gonna do whenever i get a chance i'm gonna use this bucket as my lemon tree um for my lemon tree to dwell in versus that little small bucket that y'all see right there it'll be a you know a lot more space than the, that little bucket right there so um hopefully that extends or um betters the the quality of the root system of the um, lemon tree i don't see nothing oh i got one bell pepper right here something but y'all see it this supposed to be broccoli i can't wait to see see this See, this is cluttered, so I'm about to space that out. I might have to get rid of some of it. Got my bell pepper. I got some bell peppers in here, so they're growing pretty good. I think. I think something was trying to dig. Y'all can see, like something tried to dig, dig a hole. I don't know, probably a squirrel. And I um. I actually have um some white netting. I have some white netting that I haven't even opened up. And I might use it um to cover up these plants. Because there's gonna be animals. We have squirrels around here and you know everything that I grow they get a hold to. So I might have to start covering it up. Um, but I don't know how much that'll be effective. Um, so yeah, it's just an experiment. This is what I'm working with. Y'all can see it. Now, uh, for this, I don't know if I need to cut some of these limbs off or what. Because I think it's either another, lim another tree is growing or it's just basically another limb 
growing inside of this tree i'm not sure because if i had the knowledge to know i would have been cut these little you know the, the the empty branches and just let this little piece that's growing in let it become the new um lemon tree um whatever you know basically remind me of Groot. if y'all watch the marvel movies you see uh where Groot, the um the look the little oh snap oh oh my god i forgot to discard this right here look at this see this is dangerous See, I was cutting these little thorns. And I think, you see how sharp they is. And I I'm, <laughs> I almost fully stepped on one. <clears throat> and it made me drop my phone. So I'm finna take this to the dump. I ain't finna let this happen again. Plus, I'm already down bad by not having no shoes on. <clears throat> but it is what it is. Put it over there. But yeah, um, like I was saying, Groot, when Groot died, he became a whole new tree. He he was um basically reborn, and that was interesting to me, <laughs> even though it was just a movie. But that's how nature does. It goes into another form. Um, I actually need to rewatch that. The Gardens of the Galaxy 1, I think, or 2. Um, but yeah, I just want to do a little update. Um, this is random. Also, I think I'm about to finish watching Bloodshot. Um, and that's probably after I play the game. I don't know. But that's the that's probably the next movie that I'm going to watch, which is Bloodshot. I never did finish watching it. Um, and the reason why I'm thinking about that is because people were talking about technology is going to be making people see and, you know, um, you know, people talking about Elon Musk and stuff and the fact that he might be the answer to blindness and stuff like that. And I was, you know, um, responded to some of the videos that I was watching about, um, um, people should go check out the movie Bloodshot. You know, it's just one movie, but I'm sure there's other movies where they've shown uh, technology um, overriding blindness or curing blindness or, you know, allowing people to see. Because in the movie Bloodshot, I, you know, I had got in a good part of um, um, Bloodshot, the movie. I think I had got toward, like, the middle part of it. I just didn't finish it. I left off at the um, part where they were being chased and they were in the streets. Oh, I see an orb around the moon. I don't know if y'all can see it on camera. See if I can zoom in. Oh, it's not that visible on camera, but it's like a orb around the moon, like a level one orb, like an aura rather around the moon but anyway um they had this one character on bloodshot that he was seeing through you know using technology he had a lot of cameras installed in his um his body and it allowed him to see so you know that's just a random but i'm about to get ready to go back in just wanted to give y'all a little update There we go. That's my broccoli. I can't wait to see it fully grown. And this is the method that I'm going to keep using. All these little kiddie pools. And I know some, a lot of people, they, um, they get rid of them because, you know, some of them have, you know, get holes in them and stuff like that. And they want to discard them. And that's what I'm going to be doing. That's why I got that truck. So if I seen, if I see... You know, people throwing away stuff like that. I just pick it up and put it in my truck. So, yeah, I'm using everything as a tool. So, yeah, appreciate y'all for listening and showing support. And, you know, 
dropping your feedback and all of that. I appreciate all of it. And all I can say is just keep building with each other. And we should be doing that online and offline. You know, so, yeah. With that being said, either God, free thinker, signing out. Peace.